Thanks for joining us. President Trump made a quick trip to the valley today, landing at Sky Harbor a little afternoon. The president greeted by Governor Doug Ducey without a handshake after getting off of Air Force One. The purpose of today's visit, a tour of the Honeywell plant in Phoenix. President Trump met with Native American leaders before that. Alongside the president uh, was Senator Martha McSally. And the entire trip lasted just a couple of hours. Team 12's Bram Resnick has been at Sky Harbor since the president first arrived. And Bram, the president today wanted to put the focus on Honeywell and PPE, right? That's right, and there's a reason President Trump stopped at Honeywell. With its aerospace business failing, just flagging right now, Honeywell is turning to a product in huge demand, N95 masks, for workers on the front line of the coronavirus crisis. Honeywell plans to make millions of N95 masks at this Phoenix plant. The assembly line firing up in just one month. 150 people on the job now and growing. Governor Doug Ducey has ordered 6 million masks for delivery over the next 12 months. This wasn't a Trump rally, but the president turned it into one for Honeywell workers. Here's military veteran Ursula Warner. I just retired this past March and I actually had a different plan. But after my retirement ceremony and I saw that the site, the N95 site was standing up and what the purpose of it was for, for the first responders and our medical personnel on the front lines, I decided I wanted to be a part of that, a part of something bigger to continue to serve this country in a different facet. Well, workers spoke today. They're hiring up to 400 people. You can find job postings online. Let's send it back to you. Uh, Bram, quick question. The president was also part of a roundtable discussion out there at Honeywell that focused on Native American tribes, including the Navajo Nation, which, as we've reported, has been extremely hard hit by the coronavirus. That's right, Mark. There was a big announcement today, the president saying the Navajo Nation, other Native American tribes will be getting $5 billion in CARES Act money. That was approved a month ago. Uh, what the president didn't say, what you didn't hear today was, the tribes, including the Navajo Nation and the Akshin tribe here in Arizona, as well as others around the country, have sued the Trump administration over that CARES Act money. They say they're entitled to all $8 billion, not just the $5 billion that was released today. They went to court. A judge ruled in their favor last week. It appears that's why the Trump administration released the $5 billion today, but there's still going to be a fight over the remaining $3 billion. Mark? Graham, thanks. Well, Vice President Joe Biden responded to the president's visit to Arizona by saying, quote, Governor Ducey urged the Trump administration to reopen enrollment under the Affordable Care Act so that those affected by the COVID-19 pandemic could access affordable health care. Instead of listening to a governor from his own party, President Trump refused. 